Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Here's what you will be needing to make this buttermilk fried chicken. Okay, I have two cups of buttermilk. Probably won't be using it all because I don't want to have too much of it in there because I'm going to add other things. Some yellow mustard. Some hot sauce. Of course, the chicken. And on this plate, I have one tablespoon of chicken bouillon, one tablespoon of paprika, a teaspoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of all-purpose seasoning, one tablespoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of brown sugar, haha, -ha. and one teaspoon and a half of ground mustard. And in the middle here, I have a half of teaspoon of chili powder. And right here, this little white dot here is a pinch of white pepper. That stuff is so strong, you don't want to use too much. Well, at least for me, I don't care to have uh, much of that flavor in there. And here, also a half a teaspoon of thyme, dried thyme leaves. Okay, so I'm going to mix all of this into a bowl, then add it to the chicken. Okay. So just want to get in there with your fingers and crumble it all together. I'm going to be adding the uh, buttermilk first because I don't want to put the actual seasoning on the chicken and then it washes it off. I'd rather it uh, marinate all together. You want to make sure that brown sugar is crushed all the way through. Okay. Looks good to me. Gonna move this over a little bit. And half of this seasoning, we're going to be uh, saving it for the flour because we will be seasoning our flour. Everything has to have flavor. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside. Add this buttermilk. Like I said, I probably won't be using the full two cups because I don't want to have too much of it. Okay. Yeah, I used about a cup. Okay, and to this, I'm going to be adding some yellow mustard. I'm telling you guys, this is a game changer right here. So that was about two tablespoons of yellow mustard. Here, I'm gonna be adding about two tablespoons of the hot sauce as well. It's not gonna make the chicken spicy. It's just gonna give it tons of flavor. So this is basically the buttermilk marinade. And the rest I will leave to season the flour. I may be adding a little more of this blend to this bowl in case if it's not enough for the flour. But here you wanna get in and mix it all together. 
make sure it's all incorporated you want to get under the skin of everything I'm gonna pull the chicken legs skin back so that the seasoning while well, the marinade can you know adhere to the actual meat and then later on I'll pull the skin up so that it can fry properly okay you want to give this a little stir to make sure everything is mixed together all right Okay, you can easily you can see how the seasoning has come together with this chicken. This is definitely going to be flavorful. Look at that. Oh, this marinade is going to be everything. Okay, so I'm going to stop playing in this now <laughs> and submerge this chicken in this marinade. I'm going to cover this with some uh, saran wrap and pop it in the fridge for a few hours and I will be back when it's time to make the seasoned flour for this and then we'll begin to fry after that. Okay guys we are back with our marinated chicken marinade that I made earlier in the buttermilk so also guys don't forget um, when you do remove your uh, chicken that was in the fridge for a couple of hours uh, remember to let it sit out for at least a half an hour to 40 minutes to get the chill off to allow it to be almost room temperature because if you put cold chicken in the oil it's gonna bring down the temperature and it won't fry correctly it won't be as crispy it'll just be you know oily and soggy and it'll take a long time to fry and you don't want that so here I'm going to remove these chicken pieces and let the excess buttermilk drip off because I don't want too much of that uh, buttermilk coating on it because it'll be too much and the chicken will develop like a uh, thickness between the skin I mean I'm sorry the uh, the meat and the crust you don't want that uh that funniness going on so i'm going to allow this to drain beautiful beautiful i'm gonna still not put the uh the leg skin back because i don't want that uh buttermilk to be caught up under there so here we go. I'm going to just let those sit. Okay. Man, this is going to be so flavorful. Look at those spices on there. Wow. This is going to be some amazing fried chicken. Okay, I have a thigh piece here. I'm not going to stress the skin being covered um, exactly over the meat just yet because I want most of that buttermilk to uh, drain off okay same here man look at those spices again guys oh my god I can't wait to eat this <laughs> okay so excited <laughs> all right guys don't forget to like and comment below and also click the notification bell so that you can be alerted whenever I do post another video you can also share this video that would be nice okay so let these flavors settle in also comment below where you guys are watching from with states with cities, countries, wherever you are. 
I'd like to know. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to discard this and sanitize the area, get this cleaned up, and I'll be right back. Okay, I think that the uh, buttermilk has dripped off enough to where I'd like it to be. Okay, so I'm going to add these to a bowl. Let them hang out a bit again while I get the uh, flour ready. We're gonna season that together. Okay, looks good to me. down buddy okay all right so let me get this out of the way let me get the rest of the ingredients which will be the flour and my egg mixture. Yep, use an egg. Okay, here's that leftover seasoning from earlier. And here is the egg mixture. <clears throat> This is two beaten eggs. So this is all what we're gonna to use to make sure we get the perfect fried chicken. And at this point, you should also have your uh, oil preheating up to at least about 300 to 325 degrees. And if you're not using a, uh, a thermometer, a full thermometer, you can use the end of a, a uh, wooden skewer, or you can just test a piece of uh, flour and see if that bubbles up. Looks like it's starting to fry, then you're ready to go. Okay, so here what we are going to do is add the seasoning to this uh, flour. So here in this bowl, I have at least about three and a half cuts of uh, flour. I don't want to add too much of this uh, seasoning, but I want to make sure we got some good flavor in there because we like flavorful food on this channel. Everything has to taste good. No bland food here. And if your flour isn't changing color, I'm not sure if you guys can see that clearly. But uh, if it's not changing color, that means your flour is tasteless and it doesn't have enough seasoning in it. So I'm going to add a bit more. Trust me, this isn't going to be salty, guys, because I use a lot of uh, powders in, uh, in this mix. It wasn't much salt besides the uh, chicken bouillon and the seasoning salt. But I did taste it and it tastes amazing the way those seasonings blended together. The combination works perfect. Trust me. Trust me. Okay. Well, looks like we use it all. Okay, let's get that last little bit mixed in there. Make sure you get the bottom in case any of it settled. 
<clears throat> okay. So now we are going to get this chicken into the egg and into the flour so that we can begin to fry it. Okay, now it's time to bread this chicken up. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go from the chicken to the egg mixture to our seasoned flour. Then I'm going to let them hang out in a good old foil pan that I have set, set aside. And we're going to let those hang out for a few minutes to make sure that that flour adheres to the chicken to, to develop those, uh, those flakes. And then we'll fry it. Okay, so now it's time to get dirty. I'm going to start off with a wing. Right now, egg mixture. Okay, make sure that's all over. Then I'm going to place that in there. Now, let me show you something before I start with the, uh, the legs and drum pieces. What you want to do to make sure that this fries properly and that the skin doesn't roll up and curl up at the end and give that ugly look, you want to pull it all the way up and then draw the air out. Draw the air out so that it will fry properly and you'll have the perfect leg piece. Perfect leg piece right there. Okay, get that all coated up into the flour mixture. Okay, I'm gonna do a thigh piece. Just wanna get this skin evenly distributed over it. Okay, let's go. Into the egg bath. Let the excess drip into the flour. Now, this is where we get a little messy. So with this, you're gonna scoop and fold. Scoop and fold. And, you know, press down a bit to make sure that flour definitely gets all over the chicken. You don't want any bare spots. See? The way those flakes are starting to develop. You want to uh, let's go back and forth in like a seesaw motion. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna lie that into our good old foil pan. You wanna make sure it's everywhere. This is gonna help give it that flaky look also. See that? Let that hang out a bit. Oh, that's gonna be a nice one. Okay into the pan. Now we're gonna repeat this process. I know I should be doing a dry and wet hand, but with this method, I would have to keep on washing my hands because I have to use both hands to scoop and fold the chicken. So, don't worry. Remember, with the drum piece, 
pull that skin down draw out the air roll in that egg batter into the flour remember scoop and fold give a press every now and then seesaw motion back and forth oh look at that that is going to be one crispy piece of chicken oh not a bare spot here can't have that okay all right now we let this rest okay let's get the rest of these pieces out oh that spot on the wing skin came up a bit but that's all right as long as when you lay it in that oil it's up let's repeat this for the third time There's so much flavor <laughs> in this chicken. Can't wait for you guys to try this recipe. Okay. Drum piece. Roll it, roll it, roll it. All right. Okay, same rules apply. Okay, don't forget guys, as I mentioned earlier, at this point you should have your oil preheating to at least 300 to 325. I'll be using vegetable oil. I hear that peanut oil is really good to fry uh, chicken and I've never tried that. Comment below and let me know if you guys have ever tried that and how did it come out for you. I can't have no bear spots. All right, scoop and fold and press. Okay, that should be good. Oh. Okay. Okay, these flakes are amazing. It's gonna be some crispy chicken, guys. All right, and last but not least, the wing. Okay, and there you have it. All right. Oop. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm going to get this mess cleaned up, and I'll be back in about a couple of minutes so we can fry this chicken. But first, I'm going to show you guys how I test my oil for the correct temperature.
Okay, guys, it's time to check the temperature on this oil to make sure that it's at the right temp to fry this chicken. Okay, I'll be using a digital thermometer. So here we go. Uh, let me move it a bit because it increased a little bit. Okay, here we go. Remember, we're looking for 300 to uh, 325. Oh, okay, okay. I could pretty much stop here because this is exactly where I'd like it to be so that the chicken gets a perfect crisp on it. Oh, it's okay, 313, that's about right, that's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna let that oil drip off. Then I'm going to wipe that off. I will clean that in a few. And be careful of touching the tip because it's still hot. There we go. Okay, let's fry this chicken. So I am going to be dropping a wing in. Okay. Drum piece. And a thigh piece. Look at that, look at that. I'm gonna make a little bit, see those flakes developing, the crispiness. Guys, this is gonna be some amazing chicken. I'm telling you, please try this recipe. Okay guys, this chicken should be done. Let's pull them up and see. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's beautiful. All right, I'm gonna take this out, set it aside. On my cooling rack. There we go. Beautiful. Nice golden brown. I know these are gonna be like super crispy. Okay, let's get that other wing out. All right. I like that one. Hang out a bit too long, but it's still gonna be good. Okay, let's add the rest of the chicken in. There should be room on this side. Okay, that's it of the chicken. It's that second batch. A couple more minutes and we're taking it out. Yeah. Yes. Got the first batch over here resting. Waiting for our family members to come out of the pool, the hot tub. <laughs> Okay guys, so this chicken is done, as you can see. So what we are going to do here is the crispy test. Crispy. Now, let's try it. That is amazing. seasonings were like a perfect blend. Mm, wow. Let's try another one. Mm.
Guys, please give this recipe a try. I promise you, you'll love it. All right, guys, so I'll be back with another video soon. Please don't forget to like this video, comment, share, and subscribe. Peace.